All right, problem five of chapter of exam three. We have this. This is clearly a statics problem, and and here's how. I mean, we know, right? We're talking about a two more meter long plank. It's got a mass, and it rests on two supports. So it's just sitting here. If anything cried statics better than this, I don't know what it would be. It's just sitting here. So it's clearly a statics problem, right? Now we've got the plank. We've got a can of paint that's sitting on top of it. The can of cane is five kilograms and it's 0.25 meters from the left hand in. So what's the total upward force being supplied by this leg on the left hand side? Right? So statics problem. That means we have to turn turn to the equations that apply to statics, which are basically these two right here. All the forces add to zero, all the torques add to zero. Right? That's what we're after. All the forces add to zero, all the torques add to zero. All right, so what are the forces? Well, we've got the one I gave you, right? Yeah, there's a leg, the force from this leg. There's the weight of the can, and there's the weight of the uh, plank, and then there's the force from the other leg, right? But the one we're after is this one over here. That's the one we want. All right, so I'm going to call that F1. All right, I'm going to call that F1. And so if we look at the torque equation, right, sum of all of the torques. So uh, tau 1, oh, Lordy. tau. One, tau 1, right? which is the torque due to the leg on the left hand side. Tau can, we'll call that the paint can, right? Plus tau of the plank um, plus tau two equals zero. And tau two is the torque due to the force on the other hand, on the other end, right? Now, what we're after is what is this force over here? And that's in this tau one, right? It's, uh, so let's call, let's make life easy on ourselves. We're gonna call this the pivot point, right? If we call that the pivot point, what does that mean? All right, we've got a plank that is two meters long. This is 0.25 meters from that end. And so if we call this the pivot point, that means we have mg here, right? And that's going to be at a distance of one meter. And then we have mass of the can, right? Oh, I can't really write with this, times g right here. And that's going to be, so this is one meter from here all the way over. That's going to be 1.75 meters, right? And then there's this F1. Right, and that's going to be all the way over at two meters. And then, if we're calling this the pivot point, it doesn't really matter what that force is at all because it's at zero meters, so that torque is going to be zero. All right, so let's take a look at what this means. All right, so we got F1 times um, the length of the plank, right, two meters. I don't know what's up with this. All right, two meters. All right, um, and I'm making an error here because this torque would be a clockwise rotation, so it's negative, right? Minus F1 times two meters. Then the torque due to the can is going to be positive. The mass of the can is five kilograms, right? So we got five kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the weight of the can. And the can is at, um, the 
can is at 1.75 meters. That's a positive torque because that would be counterclockwise. And then we have the mass of the um, plank itself, right? 1.5 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared to get its weight times the one meter distance. Okay, so all of these torques add up to zero. Oh, let me put in, okay, we've got the force at point two, but that's times zero, right? All right, so now we have all the torques, right? And the only, only unknown is F1, and that's what we're after. So this actually works out pretty quickly here. Um, that means that means that F1 is going to equal, okay, so I'm going to add F1 2 plus times 2 meters to both sides, right, uh, and then I'm going to divide by 2 meters, and we've got 5 times 98, and the units on this, a kilogram meter per second square, a kilogram meter squared per second squared, or a kilogram meters per second squared time is a newton, now, the units on all this are going to be newton meters, then we're going to divide by 2 meters, so this is 5 times 9.8 times 1.75 plus 1.5 times 9.8 times 1, all divided by 2, right, and the units in the end are going to be newtons. So let's go over to Excel and let's calculate all of this. Uh, da -da. Here we go. So, 5 times 9, 9.8, times 1.75, plus 1.5, times 9.8, times 1, divided by 2, 50.225 newtons. 50.225 newtons, uh, the answer is right there, right? Now, this was a pretty simple torque problem, and it was pretty simple because you only needed the torque equation. Right? And with the torque equation, we were able to eliminate all the unknowns except for the one we were after, and we got to F1. Right? On a more complicated one, you might also need to use the total force, and so we'll go with upward as the positive direction. That would be F1 minus mass of the can times G minus mass of the plank times G um, plus F2 equals zero. Right? So if you wanted to figure out what F2 was in this scenario at this point, if you needed both of them for some reason, um, then you could use this equation to find F2. Because we now know F1. We know F1. We know this. We know that. Right? From those, we can easily find out what F2 is. All right. That's it for problem five.